Well, it's the first part of March, and the birds are starting to show back up in our area. So, we're going to build a birdhouse. Welcome to my wood shop. My name is Forrest. Today, we're going to work on a robin or a cardinal birdhouse. It's got a roof, got a floor, place to hang it to the wall, open area for the mom to build her nest, and to sit here and feed her little babies. Let's get started. Well, I downloaded some plans off of the internet. I found them at 50birds.com. Looks something like this. Very simply made. Doesn't require a lot. In fact, I've made one already. And you could easily do this with a handsaw or a circular saw. There's no problems in building a little house like this. So, I want to let you know what I started with. I used fence boards. Bought them at Lowe's, joined them together with a few biscuits and some glue, waterproof glue. And this is our wood for today. Let's get started. But before we get started, there's one important thing we always need to do. Protect these right here. They're God's gift for us to see the world. And we're going to do that with safety glasses. So before we do anything, we always put on our safety glasses. Now I'm ready to get started. Now we've got all our pieces cut down to size. These happen to be the lid, the roof, and the floor. These are the two side panels. And this will be the back. We will have to cut this down one more time to eight inches. So I'm going to do that over on the table saw. I'll be right back. Now that we have the back or the part that attaches to the tree at 8 inches, these are on our side pieces, we need to make the V shape and cut the angle for the roof. So, to do that, I'm going to use well, I didn't bring my ruler. Heck fire. Hold on, let me get my ruler. left it at the table saw. Okay, now then, our plans call for a 7 eighths of an inch drop here, which is about a, seven, about a 14 degree pitch. This could very easily be done with a band saw, or it could be done with a circular saw and just cutting on the line. Also, 3 and 5 eighths inches from the bottom will be where our hole will be drilled, and we're going to drill a hole, I'll show you here in just a second. And we also need this to be a roughly one and a half inches from the back. So, I'm going to make that mark right there. That's where we need to drill a hole. So we're going to drill a hole right there, and then we're going to connect these two pieces with that hole. I'm going to do that over at the drill press. Let's go over there and see what we're going to do. Oh. I don't need my ruler, so I'm going to leave it on the table here.
Okay, our first task is to find out where our side pieces will actually attach. That will be the same distance top and bottom. Our board is 12 inches long and our side piece is 8 inches. 8 from 12 would be, all the mathematicians shouted out at one time, 4 and a half. Okay, half of 4 and a half, all the mathematicians would shout out at the same time, 2 and 1 quarter. So let's make a mark at 2 and 1 quarter, the top, and 2 and 1 quarter on the bottom. And to make this thing even easier, I'm going to label the top and the bottom. This would be the top. I'm going to put a T right there. This is going to be the bottom. We're going to make a B right there. So I can keep up with this as I go. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need, need to put our side pieces attached there with some good outdoor glue. Let's put a good bead of glue on it and hopefully not get any of that glue on me, which is usually the case. Half on the board, half on my finger. Well, anyway. So we're going to put it right there and right there. I'm going to give it a little wiggle and a push. I'm going to attach it with my hand here, best I can. We're on the mark, we're on the mark, we're flush, we're flush. Give it a quick brad to hold it in place while the glue dries. I need one at the other end. Quick brad to hold it in place while it glue dries. And we'll throw one in the middle just for fun. All right. We need a little piece of... Uh, We need to attach the bottom, and the bottom size is six and a half by uh, eight. This one is seven and a quarter, so it's the roof. This is the bottom, which is six and a half by eight. It will go right there, of which we need a little bit of glue. All we got to do is cut our roof at that same 14 degree cut off of the side here. It's actually going to go this way, right here. So we'll go over to the table saw and do that. I'll be right back. Okay, now we've got our roof with the proper angle. We're ready to put a little glue on it and to put a couple of tacks in it there, brads, hold it in place while the glue dries. Uh-oh, wasn't quite ready, was it? on the back for good luck one in the middle well I think we're finished everything looks good made out of cedar ought to last for a lifetime for these little birds big open area here for the nest to be built in nice roof Nice porch, area for mama to feed her little babies. Good place to attach it to a wall. I think it looks pretty good. I've had a fun day today. I think I'm gonna paint the roof green.
What do you think? Have a good day.